All right, so the wind's it's kind of windy today. I hope that you can hear me. Today we're going over everything that we're doing for our next project. Now, before we do any of that, I'm going to go ahead and show you the next project. Um, there's been a couple hints about it that I posted on my Instagram. If you don't follow me there, it's the same thing as YouTube. Um, so, yeah. So, down there, bottom of the hill, behind the pool and trampoline and all that, is the truck. Now, I am going to forewarn you. This truck has been built before. I mean, this thing has got all kinds of performance mods on it. Things you wouldn't believe. I mean, look at these taillights. Look at them. Look at them. Those are performance taillights right there. And over here, I mean, you got these high performance wheels on it. As you can see. And then if we open it up here, the performance mods, it's even better. You can see we have a clutch and a column shifter and a floor shifter over there. And uh, we also have a little gauge there screwed off. Man, all kinds of performance mods. Uh, on the other side, there's a there's a performance um, hose clamp holding the strut together, so that's kind of nice. Uh, this was a wood bed a long time ago. It's just kind of holding stuff right now. So, yeah, this is the next project. Um, all jokes aside, this is a 1981 F100. Uh, it's a two-wheel drive. Um, as far as I know, anyway, I really, it might be four-wheel drive, it might be what the floor shifter is for. Um, as far as I know, it's two-wheel drive. So, yeah, it's F100, uh, step side. So, we're going to be completely redoing this truck, um, because you saw the insides. Uh, we can't get it to run, we tried to get it to run ages ago. Never could get it to run, it's just kind of sat back there for a long time. So, yeah, this is our next project, and we're going to be doing a lot of it here. The things that aren't going to be being done here are the motor and transmission. And the only reason I'm not doing them here is because I don't know what I'm doing. And uh, in the class I'm taking now, in my next class, we'll be going over all that. So I'm going to build it then. Um, but in future projects, we will be building motors and stuff like that. So look out for that. Anyways, guys. So um, some things that I have in my head that we'll be doing for sure. As you can see, the seal on this is bad. Now, this is going to be a show truck. So it's going to be getting repainted. Then I have body work done. It has a long way to go, all right. But as far as rust goes, that looks like there's some rust there. But I think it's pretty rust-free. I haven't really dug into it yet. I haven't dived into it yet, so I don't know what I'm getting into here. Um, but we're gonna try to stay as rust-free as possible. We're gonna hope it is. It looks like the bottom of these doors is gonna have to be redone for sure. But it's got like three different coats of paint on it, so you know. There's no telling what we're really getting into. So, yeah, guys. So, I just wanted to show you our next project. Now, before we can start work on this thing, we have to, you know, clear out some areas and some space and some stuff like that. Now, uh, real quick before I talk about this, I have already decided what motor's going in the F100, and I have already actually found a motor for it. We're going to be going to get it pretty soon. It is a uh, 429 big block. So, that's what we're going to be doing that pretty soon. But anyway, so this is what we're currently working on. This is a storage building slash workshop was supposed to be um there was a bunch of stuff in it as you can see all this stuff laying around but um we've done a lot of cleaning in here a lot of old toys and stuff got put down here a lot of this is just trash now from you know weathering and animals getting in it over the years so this is all just being cleaned out it was all the way to the door with stuff and we've already done quite a bit on it um so yeah, and then we have to finish building this thing. So this thing, uh, building got stopped on it a while back for unknown reasons. I don't know. I wasn't working on it then. Um, but you see the roof's coming apart, so we're going to have to pull it back together. We already have a plan for that. We have a chain hooked up to it. We're going to try to pull it back together. Um, then we have to finish back here. We, as you can see, we did that the other day. We have to do the rest of the... We already done the framing. We have to put the wood up, plywood up back there. We have to do the framing up here, put the plywood up there, uh, jack it up on that side to try to get that wood level. Uh, that that may be that may be after. That may not be. That's not going to be first. Uh, that we're not we're not really worried about that too much right now, unless we have to because that could be what's causing that to have fell down, is because that part has fallen down. But I don't know. I don't know. Something happened. The ground settled and our roof came apart. We're just trying to fix it as of right now. So, um, yeah, guys. And after we get this cleaned out, stuff from the garage is going to be coming down here, and we're going to be using the garage to do a lot of our um, 
building process. There's just there's a lot going on. Like I said, we're gonna try to do it up there on that side of the yard, up up a front, up at the front. Um, try to get a space cleaned out over there for the truck to set with no motor, no transmission. So we're gonna have to pull the old motor and training out of it ourselves while the new motor is at the machine shop, getting board out ready for me to build it up at my school. So yeah, guys. So like I said, there's a lot going on. Um, and then later on in the future, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys, just in case you're curious, we do want to put a shop, an actual shop like that there, six inch concrete slab, walls up it for actual working on cars inside, because we're kind of tired of doing it outside, and our garage, turns out, is super shallow whenever they built this house, it's not really deep enough for a full size vehicle to fit in, so like my, my F-150 will not fit in there, um, not not with have room to work so you can like push it all the way in there and there's about that much clearance between the tailgate and the garage door and about that much clearance in the hood and the and the front wall that's without the shelving that that's in there right now so it's not really practical um you can't really get around to both sides of the vehicle easily and it's just it, it wouldn't work for what we're wanting to do with 81 so we're just going to be doing it in the yard we're gonna we're gonna figure something out there first um but yeah so like I said, guys, a lot's going on. Um, we're still working on this. We're going to try to get all this cleaned out within the next couple of days. Um, except it is sunshining today, so I'm thinking about going ahead and uh, pulling some of this together, and I'll pull. I'll have some clips of that. Um, like I said, I will show you guys the building. We, we've already done a little bit that I haven't recorded, so everything that you're seeing now, is that back there at the back, that framing. Um, we actually started to pull this together, but we didn't finish it. We tore the old door frame out here. This, this was me. I tore it out, but um, yeah, it's uh, it needs to be redone. So we gotta get a board here to support that up, like that. And like I said, a bunch of stuff is happening. We're just trying to fix this building right now. Um, but while we were not able to do anything because of the rain, we just went ahead and done some of our cleaning, got some of it out of the way. There was actually a lot more here earlier. There were bags and boxes and all kinds of stuff. I just hauled them off of my truck earlier. Um, all that plastic's going out. All this is getting thrown away. So, um, except for these two boxes right here, we're not going to throw them away because those are actually pretty useful storage boxes. Um, these lights, uh, the light of them might actually be okay. But anyways, that that's not important. So, yeah, I just wanted to I just wanted to make a dedicated video to this because I didn't really want to go over it all at the end of one video. Um, just because there's a lot going on. Like I said, there's a 429 big block Ford motor going in my 81 F100. We don't know about a transmission yet. The, the guy that's selling me the motor is supposed to have a transmission. But we're going to go up there and look at it and all that stuff. So, um, we don't know about a transmission yet. Uh, it's probably going to be like a three-speed or something. And we'll just gear the rear end really high to uh, you know, make it do what, do what we want it to do. Because it's going to be a show truck. Not really a truck for pulling or towing or hauling stuff like my f1 like like my white f-150 is for because i use that thing on a daily basis towing and hauling and hauling stuff off so um yeah that's it's about it for uh for this video there's a lot going on at one time right now so if the automotive videos aren't pumping out that's because we're trying to do this trying to i still i'm still trying to work make money and like i said a lot is happening a lot's happening so i want to Alright guys, so I want to thank you very much for watching. Um, like I said, this isn't really, this was just kind of an update video just to kind of let you guys know what's going on. That way you're not confused because like I said, there is a lot happening. Um, uh, we're going to be going down to get a motor pretty soon, so that will probably be a video. And um, other stuff like that because I'm trying to, I already made a deal on a motor. So i got to go get that. Um, so yeah guys, I want to thank you very much for watching. Uh, be sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.